What's up, Madden 25 gamers? Welcome to the top five routes in Madden NFL 25, and let's kick it off with a bang here. Number uh, number five, the number five top overall route in Madden 25 is the corner route. The reason is because of the versatility that you can do with this. Although we like the corner routes from twin sets, you know, or trip sets even. So situations like from the, uh, if I can find me a set here, maybe spread has it. But what we can do with corner routes is we basically create a smash concept and uh, does a really good job at beating zones, especially cover two. So real quick, let's audible to a cover two here. And maybe. Uh, cover two sync here. And what we like to do is we like to put smoke screens uh, to the outside receiver but use the corner route to beat that cover two to make it a little better. And you see that space it gets on the cover two really effective. And another thing that you got with this corner route is it beats uh, cover three and also beats two man under. That's just a clutch route. Basically beats every coverage in the game um, that they could pro potentially throw it just throw it at you. And uh, just a really good route overall. You don't want to throw the, the one thing with this route though is you don't want to throw it right as he breaks. You want to get him a separation. As you saw there, threw it right as he breaks and got intercepted. But if I wait a little bit, what you're going to see is he's still going to get separation right there's where you want to about throw it. Um, Maybe it's because it's so, such a deep one. You may want to smart route it to keep it shallow. Spread's got a little bit deeper of corner routes here. Let's see it again. Pass lead to the right. Man, maybe not. <laughs> let's let's hop out of spread here. I think the corner route out of spreads are bad. Because the trip the the, uh, the ones from trips sets crushes man. So I don't know if I'm just high right now or what, but. Uh, let's check out this X spot. Has a corner route. Two man under. So there we go. Set the smoke screen out there. There you see the separation. So I don't know what was going on with the spread. So you may just want to stay away from spread. Spread hitch corners. I don't know. If you guys noticed, it was a deeper corner route than what we were used to seeing out of this. So, so just know that. But it's basically like a slant out, but it's a little deeper. And again, it beats cover two, beats two man under. With a smoke screen setup, it's going to beat cover two sink. And, and that's why we really like this play. And if they run like a cover or cover zero blitz, and this is really even more effective. You see there's nobody over the top. So if I break a tackle here, you know, I can get to the house. So that's why we like the corner route. I, I'd say that's probably the top, uh, a top five route in Madden 25, especially with the situ not just a top five route uh, overall. I think corner routes out of twin sets are top five because you can really set up and beat every coverage in the game. Number four route in Madden NFL 25 is going to be the comeback route. The reason we like the comeback route is because of the ease at which we can use or catch it against man coverage. So what we like to do here is just place Des Bryant on the comeback route, snap the ball, you're going to wait about 10 yards, and then you're going to throw it, and you're going to get click on and use or catch it just like we use or catch uh, the fade last year. And the reason I really like these routes um, is there money in the goal line? Uh, a lot of people, I haven't seen anybody post this. I posted this in NCAA. Uh, maybe somebody has, and I just haven't paid attention. But if you're about five yards uh, and you're on the red zone, what I like to do is put Miles Austin on a, a zig, Escobar on a zig, and then I like to put Des Bryant on a fade. and Or not the fade, but the comeback. And the comeback's going to just pass lead to the inside and you're gonna click on you see that you're just gonna use or catch that ball and uh, we'll show you how to use or catch some other time not today just because it's um, you know we're just taking a look at the top five routes and then you see here I mean this is just a money route in the red zone that we can use to effectively set up a nice red zone offense um, and I really like the comeback routes in the red zone you know if you want to say okay well what about what about cover three or something say they're on cover three in the red zone or something well, it's going to be even more effective because there's no bump. There's no dude right on him, and you see he's just going to get big for you. So that's why I like the comeback routes down in the red zone. Um, number three uh, passing route in Madden NFL 25 is going to be, once again, last year it was effective, and this year it was effective, the drag route. Uh, drag routes are able to be hot routed by any play. It doesn't matter what play you're in. You can always get to a drag route with your hot routes. And I'm not going to say just drag routes. I think drag routes to the outside receivers uh, more specifically. Just, But drag routes to the slots are really effective as well. But what we're going to do here, you see Des Bryant on a drag here. We're just going to snap. And against man coverage, we're just going to, like we talked about week one. Oh, man, he freaking swat hotted that out. Uh, let's try this again. Snap and just lob it up. And if I can get freaking lofting out of the way, he just keeps running through the play like a boss. Just snap, and you're going to pass lead up, and you see this going to beat man coverage. And then, of course, it's going to be the zone, as, we, as it did last year. It's going to beat every zone in the game. That's why we really, really are big fans of drag routes this year, because it basically could beat every coverage, and it's like a three-second route, so it's going to beat the blitz as well. 
Uh, I really, really am a big fan of the drag route this year. Once again, against man coverage, you see we just just like that, and then we're gonna have we're gonna leave a link to the annotation about how to do this. We have a video already on our web our, our on our YouTube channel uh, talking about how to throw drag routes against man coverage. All right, and then the number two route in my NFL 25 is a route that was very popular last year, and it's still very effective. And it's out of the drag cross-ups or tight formations, like tight doubles on, drag cross-ups, stuff like that. And the the play is, uh, we actually call the play drag cross-ups, but the route is a wheel route. Wheel routes are still very effective in this game. And what you're going to do is you're just going to wait till they cut right there, and you see you're going to be able to click on and make an easy user catch. And uh, that's what I really, really like about these. You can also just throw them. You see that? And they're going to automatically, they don't play the wheel routes. Like, it's really effective to have a nice man beater, and uh, that's what the wheel routes are very effective for. If they're in a cover two sink or something, watch what happens. The yellows, like, they don't play the wheel routes all the time. Like, there you saw they did, but it, I'm just saying, like, in general. And the beauty of the wheel route is it's a flat route and a streak in combination with one another. So if they maybe sent, um, maybe if they were playing cover three and they, they sent a blitz uh, off the left here, so a zone blitz off the left here, and um, that's going to mean that there's no flat defender on that side. So what we can do is just snap. Okay, the wheel route's wide open. Just get it, to, get in the ball, and get a quick five yards. You know that may not seem like a very, you know a lot, but having a ability to be max coverage and and um, and blitzing defenses, zone blitzes. This route's money in the bank. The only thing that you're, you know, the only thing I don't like this route against is. Uh, Oh, look at that. Uh, is zone. Um, and not just any zone, but specifically cover two sink. And the reason is because, as we saw earlier, they, they do sometimes play it. But what you can do is you can wait a little bit, pass lead it up. Boom. He gone. And uh, you see that is the cover two sink, and that's the wheel route. We really are big fans of wheel routes this year, and I really like the way it's working so far for me in the Madden 25 season. Okay, uh, and then the number one, we're finally to this uh, route, and the number one route in Madden 25 is the bubble screen. And the reason that the bubble screen is probably the best route overall in Madden 25, in my opinion, is because it's almost impossible to stop it. Uh, you just kind of have to get lucky. So what we're going to do is we're going to come out in the spread, and we are going to, if I can get it to, yeah, it's called Play Action Bubble. Okay, this was effective in NCAA. It's not as effective as it was in NCAA, but it's very, still very effective. We can do a lot of stuff with it. So against cover four, what you're going to see, and what I like to do is I like to put DeMarco Murray on, his, on a, a something. Just get him out. You don't want to put him. You don't want to have the play action happen. Okay, so you see that they're over. If they're over the uh, slot, then I like to drag both guys on the outside. But what you're going to do is you're just going to snap. You're just going to throw it to him, and five yards, five, five yards. It's like it's like you can't. Like here, let me let me show you. So let's call, let's call two men under. And this is why I really like this route. Um, pass lead it, or just just pass lead it to the right there, and just a quick four yards. I mean the the the, the possibility is endless. Like we could again, we could maybe put um, you know comeback routes on the outside, comeback drag. You do so many things with the bubble screen. That's why I like it so much because of its versatility, and it's just gonna beat everything. Like it's just it's tough to stop this route. Uh, Let's show you out of cover two, cover two sink here. And again, they line up over top, so we're going to drag those guys. And look at this. Look at that. They don't react to the guy. Like, when you, if you, if you get the user skill down on the bubble screen, and you, like I said, you run after catch, and I like to hold L2, but you run, you get it, and if you cut up field, look at that. They just don't, they just don't react to the dude. And uh, that's that's one of the main reasons we really like this bubble screen. And then real quick, I'm gonna give you one other tip with the bubble screen. Why I like I why I think this is probably the best route in the game. Um, when we go down into the red zone, and this is going back to that comeback thing, we go down into the red zone, and what we're gonna do is. In this situation, we're we're gonna put these bubble screens on fades, and it's only out of the bubble screens that this will work. And then we like to come back to the outside guys. And at the snap of the ball, what you're going to see is we're going to snap, and when they cut to the outside, we're going to throw it up, and you see they get big like that? That's just like Madden 20, or Madden 13, when we would throw, when a lot of people would throw the fade routes in, order, in the red zone so that their wide receivers would go up and get the ball. And now it's just from, a, now it's just from the bubble screen, but it can't be done from any other place. So, for example, I'm going to hot route up here to the quick slants, and I'm going to do the same hot routes, and you're going to see they're not going to get big for me. You see, he, he catches it, but he doesn't get that, that, 
that big boy animation that I like to that I like to see. So, you know, two man under. If they are in two man under, the the beauty of this is, like I said, this is spread formation. So they have to like mana line and press. And a lot of people don't do that. And you see, I mean, that just they just get big guys. It's effective. And uh, we're going to be doing it a lot this year. Uh, if they do go to cover three, one problem with this, they go to cover three, it's going to get bumped. But if you wait, you can sneak it in. So that's what I really like about it. And like I also, so for example, if they're if they're running a zone blitz, bubble screen this year, money in the bank. So zone blitz is, um, let me just show you here. Let me get on to, so they're blitzing off the right edge. And again, we like to block the running back or, or do something with him. Just get him, you don't want him block. you don't want the play action to happen. So you see, okay, blitz, okay, I throw my bubble screen. I got a blocker in front of me, and with the running free system this year, where you're going to get big yardage. And again, this is a quick play. It's going to get in. You, your opponent's going to hate you for this. Like I'm not like this. This this play is is really effective. And guys, four yards may not seem like much to you. You're like, I want to get those big 20 yard gains. But I'm telling you right now, this is a top 25 or at least a top at, at least a top three route in the game because of the versatility with it, because of the things we can do with it. And then now I have a little bonus, uh, a little bonus route for you guys. This is a route that was in NCAA 14, and it's back. It's in Madden. It was in it was in Madden 13. It's 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 back again, and uh, if I can, hopefully the this playbook has the route in it. Most playbooks have it. And the beauty of this is if you have like a tray open or something, a lot of a lot of tray opens and stuff like that have this. It's a very simple route. Um, let me see if I can find it though. But it's it's very simple, but it's very effective. Here you see PA Reed has it. What it basically is is it's like a it's like a deep post. And it will take time to develop. I promise you guys that if they blitz you, you won't be able to hit this route. But if they're running max coverage defense or something like that, this is one of the most effective routes in the game because it's unpressable. And you see, when he cuts to the inside, you're going to pass me down, and you're going to click on and make a catch. And uh, that's not actually the route. Uh, it looked like the route, but I guess it's not. It's a different. Let me see if I can find it. But it, it works the same way, but I want to find the actual route. So let's look for it. Uh, I don't know where it is. Why trips? Do I have it on the white trips? Nope. Split eagle. I bet split eagle. Split eagle has it. Yeah, wide receiver deep in. That's the route. All right, so the route to circle here. And uh, like I said, you just I like the power block here. So block both running backs and then slide protect down. And uh, what you can see is it's unbumpable. There you see he doesn't get pressed. And when he cuts to the inside, just pass lead to the inside, and there you go. And that happened. Well, let's see what happened there. So it, the really effective part of this is, is nothing can you – can't, you can't guard the route. You have to user guard it. Um, there's no max coverage. There's no zone. There's no nothing. Like here, I'll, I'll show you here. I'll put everybody in a deep blue zone. Everybody in a deep blue zone. And I guarantee you that it's either going to get open or I'm going to be able to click on and make it get open. <sighs> Alright, so watch Austin. Got to get down a little more. But you see, I mean, that's 11 guys dropping into the zone. I mean, I got a little carried away with it. But, I mean, you see, I mean, just watch watch it against Cover 2 Sync. I mean, this thing, it's, 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 it's tough to stop this route. But, like I said, you know, if they have a good pass rush, you can be in trouble. So, just know that. I think you can actually smart route the route. Yeah, you can make it go a little shallower, but I don't think it's as effective as it was before. But you see here, just pass it down in the inside. It's going to beat man, and, and but the, the the reason we don't like to smart route it all the time is because if they're in, a, in like a cover two sink or something, the zones will actually cover it because it's a little shallower. We see you can just fit that in. I mean, it's, it's a tough route to stop, guys, but the, like I said, you know, if they're sending heavy pressure at you, then, like I said, that's why you have these flat reads and stuff like that to, to go along with it. Not open, not open, not open. Now I go to my max coverage defense beater, and I actually threw that a little early there. But, like I said, you know, this is a bonus route. This is probably not the best route in the game. Uh, but it's actually, it, you know, it's still a very effective route. And the reason I would say that it's out of my top five is because it is because it takes so long to develop. But anyways, guys, that's the top five routes in Madden 25. Check that out. And then real quick, oh, I have one more bonus route for you. So you get two free bonus routes. And th this was uh, actually something I broke down in the demo. I think I think I broke down in the demo. But out of, like, a you know, formation like Strong Close, if we wanted to run, and it doesn't matter what play, we'll just run a pass play. 
And what we're going to do is we're going to put uh, James Hanna on a wheel route, and then we're going to put Miles Austin on a, on a hitch route. Of course you can't do it out of this. Uh, drag cross-ups you can do it out of. I know that. So if we, this is a really uh, a setup I actually like to do out of drag cross-ups is if I'm running drag cross-ups, what I'll do is, let me see here. If I can, okay. So what I'll do is I'll put DeMarco Murray on a wheel route. And then I'll put Jason Witten on a hitch route. And you see, I'm going to motion him out and snap him at the numbers. And we're going to snap, throw to him, and we're going to just click on and use our catch. And you see, that's a quick six, seven yards that they cannot guard. Um, so here you're going to see, I'm going to go to I'm gonna go to cover to sink. Cover to sink, motion him out, snap, throw it, click on. You're just going to use or catch it. It's quick three yards. I mean, uh, they can't stop. It's it's difficult to stop this route. If they If they go to cover three... Uh, cover three is not going to stop it. Right there, wide open. And I mean, it's just it's just tough to stop the shot. Like I said, man coverage, man coverage doesn't stop. It. It's a lot like the Madden 12 uh, um, motion snap streaks, um, but it's a hitch route. I I think you can actually do it out of the streaks. I just like the hitch route better, in my opinion. It's a little more effective. And then real quick, let me get to an actual cover two. I'll cover two buck with the flats. Come on, let me get audible here. That all covered. Shoot. All right, I'll just hot route him. So we base align the cover two. We're gonna put the corner in the flat, and we're gonna press coverage. Now this is probably the only thing they can really do. Uh, but again, like we could like set up something, some route combinations to beat cover two. But if we motion him out, you see he's gonna stay with him. But right there, like, eh, it didn't work right as good, but. Normally what will happen is you can just throw it anyway and, and get on the dude and make the play yourself. And try that again. And I promise this is the last route that will be done. But yeah, there's a lot of effective routes in Man 25. Like right there, you see that? Like if you click on, you have a shot at catching that. If you don't click on, there's no shot. But you see, I mean, that's the top five routes in Madden 25. And um, really appreciate you guys checking this out. If you guys have uh, different routes that you guys think that should be on this list, uh, let me know in the comments below. And then lastly, guys, I really appreciate you guys, all the support and, and all the time that you guys spend watching my videos. really appreciate it. Uh, but if you could just share this on Twitter, that would mean the world to me. And then lastly, guys, go ahead. And if you're new to the YouTube channel, if you want to see some more free tips or, or more top five breakdowns, go ahead and check out my YouTube channel. You don't have to subscribe. Just go check it out. Go check out some of the older videos. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you tomorrow.